Welcome back. So you're multi-streaming on different platforms, but how do you read the different chats? That is what I will be showing you guys in today's video. But before I get into that content, remember to please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and enable those bell notifications to be notified when I drop these tutorials and other content here on my channel. So I've been requested uh, to make this video by a couple different people showing how I read my chats. So everybody's setup is going to be a little bit different. Uh, as you can see, I'm streaming here on three different platforms, Kick, YouTube, and Twitch. And if you don't know how to use this plugin right here, I made a video for this uh, recently, and I will put the YouTube link in the description down below. Go check that out and learn how to multi-stream for free right out of OBS. Okay, so let's get into opening the chat. So like I said, everybody's setup's a little bit different. I am working with a couple different monitors. So I personally open up each individual chat in the different monitors that I have open. Now let's just say you don't have that much room to work with. <clears throat> Let me bring over OBS. And uh, you know, let's say you only have maybe the monitor that you have for streaming and then your gaming monitor, right? So you only have your one window. Well, what you could do is you can place the different chats like what I have here for Twitch and have here for kick. And now we're going to go and add one for YouTube. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that, how to add the different chats to OBS. So you can have them as uh, movable docs that you can move around and, uh, you know, oops, come on, stretch out, stretch out. There you go. You know, you can have the different chats on your screen and organize it how you wish. So um, I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. What you want to do is you want to go over to your um, platform of choice. So like I said, we have our YouTube. We will be adding our YouTube. But this is the same for the three different platforms I will be showing you guys today. YouTube, Twitch, and Kick. So for YouTube, and it's all the same. Like I said, um, the option is just in a different spot. I'm on my YouTube studio for the broadcast and you want to go over to your three dots in your chat. You can also do this from your uh, stream itself, your YouTube stream. You go hit the three dots, you hit pop out chat. Now what I like to do is I like to take this URL right here. I copy this, copy it, and I would like paste it, right? And now I have my OBS chat and I will bookmark this you know, I bookmark it and then I can have this as a chat um, for later. But let's say you want to put this in OBS. You want to take that link that I have copied. You go to the top left of OBS where you see docs. You hit custom browser docs. You go down to where you see an, op an empty slot and then we're going to type in YouTube chat. And then you simply paste the link to the right and then you hit apply and boom you get this window right there it's simple it just pops up and then as you can see my other two ones are added twitch kick and youtube three we could close this and now you have your chats so that's pretty much all that it uh, it takes to add your chats to your screen so now you can move these around as you wish everybody's setup is different everybody has different space to work with um, but one more thing before we go here, I wanted to show you that there are, you know, cause we all love free, but there are paid services out there. Uh, you know, if you want to go down that route and restream.io is a, uh, is a website that has always been the leader in multi streaming onto different platforms. Um, but with everything almost in the recent future, in the recent past, um, has come now with a price. So restream now has, a uh, well, the base, you know, the basic features are free, but pretty much for doing multiple, like three platforms, you need to pay money. Um, and they also haven't added kick yet. However, I believe you can use a custom RTMP uh, on Restream for that. But yeah, check out Restream if you want um, to look into that. And also there's livepush.io. This is something I recently came across. You can pretty much live stream straight from your internet browser, I think. Um, I can do a video into this if you guys request it um, and I'll do some more research, but it looks like you can't really add any 
I don't know, you might be able to add an Elgato. I'm not too sure. I might look into it. But anyways, that was today's video. It was a short but sweet one, how to add your YouTube, your Twitch, um, or your Kick pop out chats. Like I said, for Twitch and Kick, it's the same. Go down to the settings wheel on Twitch and you will see um, pop out chat. So there's the pop out chat for Twitch. And then also for Kick, same deal. Come over here to Kick, hit the settings wheel, hit pop out, and there's your Kick pop out with the URL. Copy that and paste it. So guys, thank you guys for watching the video. Hopefully you stay to the end and enjoy the content and learn something new. It was simple, but it is something that you must know if you are streaming on multiple platforms. My name is Mad, and if you guys have any more streaming questions or have any suggestions for future videos, drop them down in the comments below. Otherwise, remember to subscribe to the channel, enable those uh, the bell notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next video.